Hi friends, welcome back to another episode on my channel. I'm really excited to be back in Flowdesk. If you were around last week, um, I did a video walking through how to um, create a pop-up in Flowdesk and embed it on your website. And so now we're talking about a little bit of a different kind of form. Flowdesk calls it an inline form. Basically, it's a way to embed the, um, like the first name, email, and the sign up button into your website just naturally. So um, I am gonna share my screen, show you all the tech of that, and I can't wait. Before we get too far, I wanted to let you know about um, a free guide that I have available just for you guys. It's the five ways to grow your email list from zero to 100 subscribers. So if you do not have a VIP email list, first of all, it's time. Start that VIP email list. You can download this free guide and it'll, it'll walk you through five ways that you can grow that email list organically so that you can um, you know, grow your photography business, market to your warmest clients first, um, and get your schedule fully booked. So let's jump into the tech of all of this um, inside Flowdesk. So Flowdesk is my absolute favorite email marketing platform. It is so easy to use. It's so beautiful. And um, a lot of you guys have been hearing me talk about growing your email list using Flowdesk, but you're like, can you please show us how to actually do this stuff? So here I am sharing my screen to show you how to set things up. So when we go to create a form, there are a few different types of forms that we can do. Last week, I showed you how to set up a pop-up. This week, we are selecting the inline form, okay? And it's great because Flowdesk has so many options here um, for forms that you can do. Um, I like to keep it simple because here's where it's going to go. On my website, this is inside Show It, um, my four um, for families page. I'm going to just create a new um, canvas and I'm going to pop it right there um, under, maybe we'll do it before my reviews, like before testimonials. So I'm going to pop it right there. And this is where I'm going to embed that form. I want it to be super easy um, for people to access and be really pretty. And so you can do this in your footer. You can put it on whatever page you want. You can, you know, design it however you want. That's the beauty of Flowdesk. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to customize this one. Um, the first thing you have to do is either create a new segment or select a segment that people are going to go to when they join this. So I'm going to um, create a segment and call it um, VIP email list opt-in. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then you're going to hit save. So when you get in here, you get to customize all the things. So I am probably don't want mine to say, don't miss a thing. I'm going to have it say, um, let's see, join my VIP um, list, email list, um, sign up to, I'm going to say, Sign up to re receive exclusive um, and priority booking. Exclusive discounts and priority booking. That looks fine. Did I? Dis I didn't. <laughs> I didn't spell it right. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Sign up to receive. Okay, that looks fine. So now I'm going to change the canvas color. So that's this background right here. Um, and I'm actually going to have it have no color because I want to be able to customize that inside show it. Um, so I'm going to have it have no color. I'm going to change my font color here to like my gray that I use. And then I'm going to change these here. First name, email. Um, I don't like the blocky look. So I like round and I'm going to change it to my pink. Um, and actually maybe I want that to be my pink too. I don't know yet. Um, no, that's too pink. We'll do it as our gray. 
Um, and so I'm going to change our button text because I don't want it to say subscribe. So I'm going to say join uh, or I'm going to say become a VIP. Um, I also, these are really blocky, so I'm going to change them to be circle. Um, I'm going to update the fonts to be like more with my brand. Um, why does that look so blocky? Join my IPM. Maybe it's just too big. Okay. You can adjust your letter spacing if you want. Um, okay. So that's fine. Maybe I'll make these the other font as well. Um, actually, I like that font. Okay. So when you click out, you can add some preferences here um, to your form. You can update your message. So I like um, right here. Thanks. Keep an update on your inbox. You can add a custom message um, that displays whenever they hit submit. I'm just going to go with friendly. So I'm going to hit next. Um, should we enable double opt-in? So if you are in the United States, it's not necessary. If you are in a different country, um, sometimes some countries have laws that you have to have a double opt-in basically, which just means that when somebody joins your email list, they have to say yes in a separate email that they want to join your list. So for the United States, it's not necessary. We're going to hit no. When subscribers opt into this form, do you want to be notified? I'm going to say notify me. And then after this form is submitted, I'm going to have it display the success message. You can have it redirect to a URL if you wanted to make a custom thank you page on your website. That's fine. I'm just going to do the um, success message. I'm going to hit continue. So now we are going to publish your form. So the first thing you need to do is add this header code to your page because it won't like show up if you don't have this. Um, and actually with, with the way that I do it, for some reason, like this doesn't work. So I'm going to go to advanced options. Um, I don't know which, no, we're going to go back. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go in to show it, and in the custom head, we are for that page, we're going to paste it. So, this is just in our advanced settings over here and show it for this page information. We pasted it there. Um, and then I'm going to go into this new canvas and I'm going to grab our inline code. So, this one is basically so that your website and show it can communicate. This one is the actual um, form. So, I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come over here to show it. And I'm going to click this little button right here that, and click embed code. So when you click that, you can double click and you're going to paste your code right there. Once we do that, oh, and we may, oops, we may have to hit publish so that it has our head information. One second. Okay, you'll notice that it like doesn't show up here. Um, that's because we have to go into our advanced options here for the inline code. So we're going to click advanced options. We're going to click get raw HTML code. We're going to hit continue and copy. Then we can go in to show it. And I'm going to actually replace this with that. It's going to be very long. It's fine. Hit save and boom, our um, opt-in form shows up. So you can adjust the sizing for how you want it. I want it um, elongated like this and that looks great. Um, so I'm going to center it up. Oops. There we go. Um, and you can adjust this however you want. So if you wanted, you could delete, you know, the text here in Flowdesk and just have it be the form and you can create your own task in your, your own text in show it. It's totally up to you for the sake of this. I'm just going to do it like this. So now if I zoom out a little bit, oh, that's rather large. Let me make it smaller. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's as large as it gets. <laughs> it doesn't get any smaller than that. So that's the thing. Like, so the text here is per, like bigger than I would probably want to do it. And so, um, if I wanted to, I could go into the actual form and let's go back to our design and I could remove these pieces. So there's no text and it's only this. That way I can add in the text however I want to and show it and it can be its own size, but this is fine. So now when you look at the website, let me go to 
the website once it's published. It takes a while sometimes. Um, I'm going to go to RebeccaRiceVo.com for families. And if we scroll, there it is. So it was super easy to add it on there. Um, and your people can type their last name, their email, become a VIP, and they join your list. So the next step from there is to create the first welcome email that they get when they subscribe. So let's go create that. We're going to go back to Flowdesk and go to workflows and create new workflow. Okay, so we have the option to start with one of their pre-made emails or we can um, create our own. So let's just say we want to start with, with one of these. I'm gonna do this welcome sequence. So you can save view details and you can look at it. It's super pretty. So I'm gonna hit customize. And this starts with a trigger. So basically, how does this email get sent? So I'm gonna click that. When a subscriber is added to a segment, and I'm gonna go find that segment I just made, the VIP email list opt-in. From there, here is the email that they will get immediately when they join that list. So I'm gonna click into that and click edit. And you can design this however you want. So um, you can say, hi there, friend. Um, I'm excited. Maybe you can say, welcome to, welcome to my VIP. Or maybe let's do, woohoo, you're a VIP. We can add some images. So I'm gonna add one of, actually I should do one of myself right there. Okay, and then we're gonna do one of a family. Oops, okay. That way they can see my picture, they know who I am, um, and then they can see my, um, you know, some of my work. Um, you can have that be a picture of your family if you want. It's totally up to you. So then you can type your message, whatever you would like to say, um, that is basically just welcoming them to the list, explaining what they can expect, all the things. Um, you can link your blog if you want or whatever you want. If you click that button, you can go over here to link and you can type in whatever URL. Um, you can have them, you know, let you know if they want to book with you, put some kind of call to action. Um, I'm gonna sign hugs, rice from the gram. You can see my Instagram on there looks good. So you can see that there's a desktop preview and a mobile preview. You can look at what it looks like and it's really easy. So this, um, the, you know, the template was super easy to add and it looks really beautiful. Then we just hit finish and boom, there it is. So they will receive that email and then, um, you can have other emails set to go out. So this one has, um, you know, a handful of things. So what to expect. I feel like 30 days in between emails for something like a welcome sequence is a little long. You could do one a day for five days or three days or whatever. Um, or you don't have to send any other ones. You could just send the welcome letter and, you know, leave it at that. Um, don't overwhelm yourself. The, the key here is just to get it started so that you are growing that email list. So then you just hit publish and the thing goes live. So people can be joining your email list just when they hit your website. So it's a very practical, easy way to get more um, email subscribers, grow that email list so that you can increase your bookings and book out easier um, when you know the time comes and you open up bookings for something. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about what we covered or um, any other like tech things inside Flowdesk, comment them below here um, and I will come through and answer them. And um, I will see you back next week with another video um, walking through one of my absolute favorite topics, which is giveaways and how to create a um, giveaway that builds your email list. So we'll see you next week. Bye guys.